sometimes just hear them jump out of the pack, right? And it's discipline city man to get these in the right spot. Jeez, put your hands down. You have to give up unless you can live back here, which my hands don't let me. You have to give up one of the hands. You can't look at both the same time. Usually I'm watching my left hand. But in this style I'd be better off watching my right if I'm on and just pray that I'm on the right fret if I'm not leaping leaping about two million frets. sound right uh, vertically. Non-diatonic sounds out of the key in the diatonic sense. But so what? Meaning when you hear that phrase. Work me. 
make sure you can see your 7 foot lines. Because a lot gets built from this when we get fancier. Four roots, first finger, fourth finger, first finger, first finger, first finger, third finger, second finger, third finger, first finger, fourth finger. It's like Charlie Christian took a long time for They had brand new styles coming out of what he did. Yeah, yeah it's going to take seven string players. They're going to have to play with that extra string. I'm calling this technique chime chord. Okay. I'm calling this harp harmonics like a lot of guys would have called that. Right. Is that okay for our yeah, terminology? Yeah, that's fine. But chime chord won't mean this. Yeah. It means the block, the solid one, or the half solid.
doesn't seem stupid that that would sound so different, but it just is. Then what we're doing that is more advanced is I'm backing it up backwards. Because I just take you, I hear piano parts, dude. I don't know why it just sounds good. I mean, I do know that it hangs together dramatically, but they don't sound as good when you back up with the roots and the bass. It just sounds like somebody took acid or something, you know, <laughs> playing backwards. <laughs> Foggy day, all backwards. And suddenly, I went to the movies. My projector broke. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like, but do it in this stuff. It just, we don't have to understand as long as we can use it. It's a first step. I see it happen again. Lenny's natural evolution, he's already made it to the middle strings. It's 1964, let's say, and he's on the middle strings now. Because we saw that other video from 63, he was still on the top. More, and he was doing a little of this on the middle. But now he's full blown in the middle, and he goes... And he wants that, but his hand's coming down to here for this chord. You know that had to motivate him. Because this is a typical Lenny Bro. That line to keep going up sometimes. There's no video of this stretching from there with G7 to here. He had small hands. He brought them up here. He might have tried it like this first and it worked, but I bet he used the middle fingers to see it already worked it out here with the middle fingers. So here he was, first two fingers. It's just a natural thing. That's two different people. There's BB and Chet. BB just, not for the same reason, but BB just said, This is what I play, and Chet knows it, and he's asked me to play with him. And Chet's sitting back there going, BB's. 